Hi, we are team number six and we are going to tell you about the viruses. This is the bio evidence, that is the recovery and comprehension activity. My name is Frida Patron and the older students' names are Jessica Robledo, Daniela Calvillo, Raúl Ramírez, José Eduardo Morales and Eduardo Camarillo. outside of the host body. And predominantly, viruses have a reputation for being the cause of a contagion. Widespread events of disease and death have no doubt bolstered such a reputation. Classes of viruses. Morphology. Vir viruses are grouped on the basis of size and shape, chemical composition and structure of the genome, and mode of replication. Helical morphology is seen in nucleocapacids of many filamentous and pleomorphic viruses. Helical nucleocapacids consist of helical array of capacitance proteins wrapped around a helical filament of nucleic acid. Icosahedral morphology is characterized of the nucleocapacids of many spherical viruses. The number and arrangement of the capsomes are useful in identification and classification. Order of viruses. The taxonomy of viruses has evolved since the formation of ICTV. This increased the number of taxa signed and now there are a total of nine orders of viruses. <laughs> Mon virales, gen two virales, serpento virales, and so on. The primary role of a virus or viron is to deliver its DNA or RNA genome into the whole cell so that the genome can be expressed by the whole cell according to medical microbiology. First, the viruses need to access the inside of the host's body. Respiration passages and open wounds can act as gateways for the virus. Sometimes, insects provide the mode of entry. Certain viruses will hitch a ride in an insect's saliva and enter the host's body after the insect bites. Viruses will then attach themselves to host the, to host the cell surfaces. They do so by recognizing and binding to cell surface receptors, like two interlocking puzzle pieces. After a virus binds to the surface of the whole cells, it can start to move across the outer covering of membrane of the whole cell. Once inside, the viruses release their genomes and also disrupt or hijack various parts of the cellular machinery. Viral genomes direct host cells to ultimately produce viral proteins and many times holding the synthesis or of RNA and proteins that the host cell can use. There are four main types of family of the viruses and first there are the RNA variety that are, are host members are generally associated with the rodent transmitted disease in humans then the Bunia day there are a large family of single straight enveloped RNA viruses and consist of five genera of viruses. Then the Flaviviridae, who belongs to a virus family called Philoviridae and can cause se severe hemorrhagic fever in humans and non human primates. And finally, Philoviridae, our family of opposite single Starting enveloped RNA viruses, they are found in anthropods and can occasionally infect humans. Now we're going to be talking about some infections caused by viruses. Uh, first of all, we're going to describe viral infections. Uh, these are viruses, causes infections or diseases with some symptoms such as flu, cold, etc. Uh, these are the common signs that we can detect if there is an infection on, in our body. Uh, some illnesses that can um, that the viral infection can cause are influenza, HIV, and of course the virus that nowadays is affecting us, 
the coronavirus or COVID-19. Other infections are like some viral diseases may affect in an extreme way the respiratory system. This happens if you if you suffer from a permanent diseases such as asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia, and many others, or if you are a major. Also, we have the gastrointestinal viral diseases that are caused by some contaminated food or, or water and the hepatic viral diseases that is the one that is transferred through contact. This contact is sexual. So as you may see, there are many viral infections that can be transmitted in different ways but, have, but having some similar symptoms. Also, they may attack, attack some of our systems as, and cells causing us discomfort. As previously stated, yeah. virus is a small yeah. parasite that cannot reproduce by itself. Once it affects a susceptible cell, however, a virus can direct the cell machinery to produce more viruses. Most viruses have either RNA or DNA as genetic material. As they are not alive, their only purpose of being is to infect other cells. This by, uh, in, a, in a way, it the, it the virus to release the RNA and DNA to, to the cell to produce more virus. The nuclei as it may be single or, or double standard, either the infection virus particles called a parion consists of the nucleic acid and the other shell of proteins. Surrounding the nucle nucleic acid will be a protein coat that is in the form of a capsid or little, little small unit that are all assembled in a certain way. As here shown in the picture, this is a scheme of a CMB virus, which have a glycoprotein tree, which are these ones, the gly glycoprotein 1, the genome, and the capsid, which is surrounded the genome, and finally the coat. Finally, in many cases, DNA viruses use cellular enzymes for synthesis of their DNA genomes and mRNAs. All viruses utilize normal cellular ribosomes, tRNAs, and translator factors for synthesis of proteins. Viruses also often express proteins that modify whole cells processes to maximize viral replication. For example, the roles of certain cellular factors in the initiation process of protein synthesis were revealed because viral proteins interrupt their action. An example of this is the virus HIV virus, which has shown early promise as a gene-term therapy viral factor for several diseases. This is by by Genetic, ge genetically modify its genetic material. These finally our references and thanks for your attention.